how did you make that shift into doing high ticket offers, which has been a lot of your focus, but mm-hmm. I know you have some like lower ticket things in there now, but how did you really make that shift? Because I think a lot of women struggle when it comes to charging more. And I love how you're showing this build, right? You went from 97, yeah. 497 to, you know, a $1,900 offer. How did you make that shift? Yeah. I mean, I think part of it was realizing. So, so I was working full-time as a professor and have, you know, mom of three, um, we were building a house to like, just to make it extra hard. Um, (laughs) and so we were, we, so I was doing like my full-time job at the same time I was building my business. And you know, the metaphor that I use is like a mixing board, like a sound mixing board, right? Like you, you turn up some dials and you turn down others. Cause you can't have all the dials blasting. Like it doesn't sound, it's not a good mix. Right. So I was like basically turning down the professor dial as I'm turning up the business dial, but there's a point at which it's like, I can't keep doing both of these things. Right. Like at first it was like good side money. And then it was like, oh, wait, really good side money. So maybe this could be something bigger, but I had like a ton of offers. So I also was doing writing retreats and I had created a bunch of like other things. And I just got to a point, and I guess it was really in like 20, like early 2019 or so that I was like, this is not, I, I, I'll never make enough money to leave my job at this rate. Like I have to, I have to sell more expensive things was the actual like thought that I had because I kept like trying to figure out the numbers and all of this. And it's like, you know, if you're selling offers that are like the, the, the navigate course wasn't 1997 at that point, it was probably 997, maybe by that time, I just would keep calculating like, okay, how many new clients do I need? And I was using like all organic traffic. So it's like, how am I even going to get more, find more people, right. To make the business sustainable. It was like, I just had this moment where I'm like, I'm going to have to bring in either like some kind of miraculous ton of new people every month, or I'm going to have to sell more expensive things. (laughs) And and it seemed like a good idea to try to sell more expensive things. Um, And so then that's when I created our, um, our first high ticket group program, Um, That was like the May of 2019 when we sold that program for the first time when we enrolled the first cohort. And that was really when I was able to go like, okay, now it's just so leveraged, you know, like it was, it had, like, I was still delivering all of it, um, but it gave me enough revenue to hire on coaches, coaches who are still with me now um, and train them and everything. But it was, you know, I went that, and that offer the first time it was, um, the first time I sold it was $5,000 and now it's seven. So it. yeah. And then we created an additional like kind of high ticket group program offer, um, for a different career stage. So, um, and then we've stuck. So, so the creating those high ticket offers has allowed us to create the low ticket offer, the, the $27 a month membership, but we, I'm, we couldn't have, and I tried to do it in reverse, like a low ticket thing. And no, like we needed the, <laughs> the revenue and sustainability of the high ticket thing to give us the option of building a low ticket thing. Yes. I love that you're saying this because I think a lot of people make the mistake of thinking like, oh, I don't want to leave anybody behind and I want right. to help all these people and they won't be able to afford it if I raise my price. But it's like, they, you won't be able to stay in business, right? If you don't exactly. have a sustainable price that allows you to cover your business expenses, pay yourself a salary, have profit left over in the bank, like it just has to happen. And when you have that, if you then want to go back and have a lower ticket offer, it's like your give back, right? It's like your yep. give back. And some of those people will elevate in that to the higher ticket and then a, a lot of them won't, right? And that yep. and that's okay because you have something that actually sustains your business and you don't have to worry about it so much. So right. I love that you're saying yeah. that.